हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर समीना वेलकम टू आवर चैनल होम्योपैथी वर्ल्ड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हैप्लॉयड एंड डिप्लॉयड सो विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद अ वीडियो सो वेन एवर वी डिस्कस प्लॉयडी ऑफ अ सेल प्लॉयडी मींस द नंबर ऑफ सेट ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स इन अ सेल नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्लॉयडी we can differentiate the cells into haploid cells and diploid cells now organisms which have haploid cells we call them haploid organisms and organisms which are made up of diploid cells we call them as diploid organisms haploid organism have haploid cells and diploid organisms have diploid cells haploid cells are those cells which have single set of chromosome while diploid means di which has two set of chromosomes you must already know that haploid is denoted by n while diploid is denoted by 2n where n is the number of chromosomes here we can clearly understand that haploid has single set while diploid has two sets an example of diploid organism is humans and humans have 23 pair of chromosomes that is equal to 46 now in this figure you can clearly see the single set and the double set of chromosomes in haploid and diploid cells haploid organisms are usually asexually reproducing organisms while diploid organisms are sexually reproducing organisms like humans now every cell in the human body are diploid except sperm and eggs but why we have to know the reason why sperm and eggs are haploid in number so let us understand and get into the detail that why sperm and eggs are haploid so when fertilization takes place there is fusion of sperm and eggs now we have already discussed that sperm and egg are haploid in number that is n and n which fuses into a zygote and from that a fetus is born and a human baby is produced by that fetus now the baby that we get the human baby is having diploid number of cells and hence is a diploid organism now this was all about the sexual reproduction now let's see the asexual reproduction now we know that in asexual reproduction there is no fusion of gametes hence buds or spores that are haploid in number but do not fuse together result into another newly formed organism which is again haploid in number now here is a simple question for you select the appropriate option and comment the correct answer in the comment section below which of the following cell is diploid please write your answers in the comment section below this video is a part of obstetric series and you can also watch our other videos from this series by clicking the i button on the right hand corner of your screen please like share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notification on our latest updates i hope you like the video thank you for watching